min, max, and clamp are CSS functions that help you control the width of an element. So some people don't use it. They think it's complicated, but it's not. Let me explain you very quick how this works. I have here some HTML, very basic. I have a element with a block max CSS class, another one with block min, and another one with block clamp. And then I have here a CSS, and you can see I have all the classes here, and I'm already using the max function, min function, and the clamp function. So let's start with the max. Is this first element right here? I added some JavaScript that is determining the width of the element so we can understand what's going on when we change the viewport width. So let's go ahead and do that. Right now, this one is like a competition. Which one is larger right now? Is it 500% or is 50 viewport width? Or this is saying 50% like of the viewport. So right now, 50% of the viewport is larger than 500. And you can see it's half of the viewport right here. So it's correct. So if we go down and we keep going down, at some point, 500 pixels will win this battle. So let's keep going. And it's going to stay there. So the function is saying, huh, right now it's larger than 50% of the viewport. So we will keep the 500 pixels and that's the winner right now. If you go back, it's the same thing. At some point it's going to be larger than 500 and it's going to be 50 instead of 500. So it's a battle in between them. It just depends who is the winner based on the size of the viewport right here. Let's go to the one to the middle and it's block min. Block min, same thing, but the opposite. Is it 600 pixels less than 50 viewport width? And that's going to be the winner. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. So now 600 is less. So it's going to be the winner. All right. So it's the opposite of max. Now we have clamp. Clamp is a mix of them. So we have min, we have one in the middle and we have max. So let's go ahead and test that. So 400, we have 50 viewport width and then 700. So if we go down, 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 at some point, we're going to get to 400 and you're going to stay there. But then in between 400 and 700, we got 50 viewport width. And that's the one that is working right now is the winner right now. But at some point we get to 700 and it stays there. So that's a very interesting function right there that I think is very useful. Now, this is just the basics. People use it for font sizes and much more. Hope you like it. See ya.